Hey everyone, this is Russ Sands on Ross TV. How are you freaking live on Ross to TV Studios and YouTube? This has been the greatest news in sports history. Jopa fired. The president of Penn State fired. Jerry Sandusky got bailed out of jail. He should have. And Mike McCreary not fired? What? Are you kidding me? He's the one that saw it. And not fired? Hello? Get the get the redhead out of there too. It's not like he's gonna make any difference. Holy shit. They weren't gonna win this week anyway. Nebraska's so much better. It's unbelievable. Yeah, watch him win now because you know, we're gonna play for him now. Ho 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 ho. Well, here's the thing. Sandusky did that was start doing that shit in ninety four. We don't know how many kids. It it had to be a lot. A lot of kids have come out. Nineteen ninety eight, it's it's eh, spreads again. People brought it up. In two thousand two. Mike McCreary, wide receivers, graduate assistant coach, saw it. You know what he does? Don't go to anybody. Goes to his daddy. Like, I think I saw my coach rape a 10-year-old. What should I do? Uh, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. You don't want to take Joe Park career, do you? Uh, no, I, I just be, I'll just be quiet. Okay, dad, I love you. I love you too, Mike. Oh, by the way, get a get a a carrot top, a carrot cut while you're at it. Like okay. And then uh, he goes eventually tells Joe Pa, and goes to a superior, and AD. You gotta go to the cops. Fuck the AD. Hello. You even tell the president if you have to. But an uh, AD, the AD is like one step lower than you, Joe Pa. Come on, you know better. If you really care about those kids, you would have went to the cops. You asshole. What a joke. People were rioting last night, dropping cars. Like, that's why Penn State is the biggest disgrace on God's green earth. Who does that? You don't, you don't see that? Do it. You don't. You don't do that for the basketball coach, do you? You don't, you don't see other schools rioting for a, a coach getting fired. You might see it for a national championship. I understand that. You have every right to do that. But after a coach getting fired, he deserved it. He let molesting happen for years. Even even when Sandusky was fired. Not fired, but retired. He let it happen during football camps and stuff. Like, come on. And he was just there a week ago. He probably raised somebody then, for all we know. Like, let, let's ask Joe Pa what he thought about the whole thing. He just said it, folks. He doesn't know. He does not know. Like, what a, what a bunch of disrespect, you know? And it just doesn't it bother you a little bit that he doesn't. It's crazy. And uh, it's unbelievable. And I'm gonna be very honest. That is very creepy. You know that? You know how creepy that is? Who does that? And Penn State fans root for that? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Everybody here should be ashamed of yourselves. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
I, I personally think you guys should all go to hell if you guys like Penn State. That's bullshit. And you guys can just be the king of the world and just think, Oh, we, we, we're the best school ever. We're the best school ever. You guys can't even get the best players ever. Hello? Nobody wants to pet play for a coach that's older than my grandpa. Penn State, are you thinking a little bit? Get Urban Meyer in there. You might be going again. Hell, oh, even Tom Bradley might get you guys there now. Thank God. Terrible. And this is... Uh, that's, that's from... This is pretty much... Hold on. One second, boys. This is pretty much... He had his... He had his dick in a box, for Christ's sake. In a 10 year old. What's wrong with that? Justin Timberlake just told you. Okay. See my point, people? Very, very creepy man. Don't ever be a molester. Ever. It's wrong. And I did have a bad hair day, if you can't notice. That's because I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, and I want to. Yep. It's going to be a great night, folks. I did sleep on my head wrong. Ah, whatever. But. And in other news, I want to talk about the NBA. There's no NBA. They're so fucked. The NBA should just go to hell. They could, they could really not play another game for all I care. Alright, now the other big news. Wilson Ramos is missing. He got kidnapped last night. By... by a few gunmen. I don't know who took them. If I find out who took them, I'm going to fuck them up. That's bullshit. Why would you do that? What did he ever do to you? Wilson Ramos is the man. You know that? Don't you? Oh, that's bullshit. Somebody needs to find him. I don't know who, but somebody does. This is so disappointing. Unreal. Un-fucking-believable. I hope I, my prayers are out to him and the family, and I'm. It's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. He's, he. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Unbelievable. But they'll find them hopefully soon enough, and everything will be okay. But now I want to answer some questions on Ross TV. I got questions that want to be asked, and uh. <sighs> Ooh, sorry guys, I just woke up. This is all the excitement. You know, can't blame you there, right? That'll be at the end of the show. Alright. First question comes from... Ted Sartalis, why do you think you know sports and anything or anything at all? Because I do, I focus really hard on trying to get the best facts possible. And I've been around sports for a long time. I know this is rough for Penn State fans. If you don't support molesting, 
I know you guys had a good football team for years. But the last 20 years, what have you guys really done? What, a couple, what, one Rose, maybe with two Rose Bowls, maybe? And I think you may have lost both of them. And, uh, maybe one Orange Bowl win. That's it. They really haven't done anything. Uh, next question. Comes from... Hmm, let's see here. One second. Oop, oh, never mind. Um... Alright, I'm going to do my final thought. Joe Paterno. I'm glad he's gone. He don't deserve to be there. I'm, But here's the thing. I kind of wish he could just do the last home game so people could get it out of their fucking system. You know? I could at least give them that. You know? But he can't go on the road. Can't do it. I won't let him do it. No way. But Tom Bradley's now the coach until the season's over. And Penn State might get to a decent BCS bowl game with Tom Bradley now. Because Tom understands what the fuck's going on. He's pretty much been coaching for the last 10 years. You know? Now Joe Paul doesn't have to, you don't have to listen to Joe Paul. Like, Alright Tom, I need to run the option. I need to run the option here. Can you do that? Run the option. Hey, sure it goes to board. He'll fumble it. That's what I got him for. Cause I'm I'm from the Bronx. Okay, coach. All right, board. You fumble it. We'll we'll get the fans to boo. How about that? Okay. And then I'll transfer. Oh, and Matt McGoin. He ain't bad. He's just... He's the next Anthony Morelli. Okay? But... Oh, Lord. Well, this is Ross Adams on Ross TV. I want to give a couple shout-outs. Gary, Tabby, Andy, Carly, Ben, Bucky, Lauren... Anybody that supports the show, I'm sorry that I had to do this, this very controversial topic. I hope people don't hate me too much. You know I love you. It's just I can't. We can't have molesters and coaches that let molesting happen stay on a university campus. I'm. It's just not me. Can't do it. Too many. Too many lives on the line. But uh, this is from sounds on Ross TV. I gotta get out of here. I don't have, I don't, I, I have girls in here I'm not going to molest. Um, I will see you later, guys. Peace. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye, Joe. Na, 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 na. Innocent, my ass. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. goodbye, Joe Pa. Fuck you. Hey, goodbye.